Man punched, dragged 30 feet by car for having a Trump flag in, sorry, Trump flag in his yard. So violence against Trump supporters escalates. Um, the title is a little misleading, um, but we'll get into that. So let's jump into the article. A Florida man says he was punched in the face and dragged 30 feet with his arm trapped in a car by a man who was angry over the fact that he had a Trump flag in his front yard. The incident occurred in Byron Beach on the 4th of July as Jeff Gould watched the fireworks display from his driveway at around 9.30pm. An elder man with grey hair and his female companion drove up and began yelling about President Trump and demanding Good remove the Trump flag from his yard. When Good refused, the man allegedly punched him in the face. Good tried to punch back, uh, but the man repeated, uh, and immediately drove off with Good's arm still trapped in the car, which is where I'm getting the whole misleading thing. I don't think the man was, like, holding his arm in the car. I think it was a case of, yeah, he was just caught on the window or whatever it was. Um, but, yeah, still anyway. Good says he was dragged for about 30 feet uh, and showed local news channel VPTV the bruises to prove it. Does look like he's um, got a few bruises there, that's for sure. Good's neighbour, Donald Jassa Jr., complained about the incident in a Facebook post in an attempt to find the culprit, remarking, This is completely unacceptable. My political goal here is just to express my love for the president and for someone to punch you in the face for just presenting the flag to the public. That is enough said right there, said Good, adding that he was thought he was lucky to get away with minor injuries. Brighton Beach Police are asking anyone with information about the incident to come forward. The car was small, two-door, silver model. The incident is yet another example of physical abuse and harassment that Trump supporters have faced since Maxine Waters called for leftists to harass Trump administration officials. I think Trump supporters have been copying it for a while. I don't think it's just the fact that Maxine has called for it. Um, I remember a story where a Trump supporter was dragged out of a car and beaten in an intersection just because of the fact that he had he had a Trump sticker when this is back towards the election. So it's been ongoing for quite a while, to be honest. Breitbart John Noach has compiled a list of 91 acts of media-approved violence and harassment against Trump supporters. They include a teenager who was assaulted and had a drink thrown at his face at Whataburg in San Antonio for wearing a mega hat which the culprit subsequently stole. We do have an update on that. We will post that in a sec, so that'll be the third story. Last week, a Berkeley man was charged with making death threats against Ron Paul and his family, vowing to chop up the Kentucky senator's children with an axe. Oh, terrific. You know, not psychotic at all. Earlier today, we reported on how Harvard Law Professor Alan Dozowitz was told by a woman that she wanted to stab him in the heart because he didn't support impeaching Trump. The left have completely lost their plot. Okay, um, look at the end of the day, uh, I obviously don't have any information to discredit what this guy's saying at the moment. Do I think it's happened? Yeah, I, I think this guy came up, had a bit of a shouting match at the uh, Mr. Good, Jeff Good, and tried to... Uh, Tried to get him to take the flag down. Um, when he said no, he's punched Jeff Good in the face or in the nose or whatever. Jeff Good has tried to swing back. Um, and subsequently this guy's realised, oh shit, and then tried to run off. Jeff's ran after him, probably uh, got caught on the car window. And been dragged for about 30 feet until he managed to work himself free. Um... At the end of the day, obviously my biggest problem with this story is the fact that this guy originally came up to this Mr. Jeff Good and basically abused him for having a Trump flag. That in itself is insane. Let alone punching Mr. Good in the face as well. Um, look at the end of the day. Yeah, th this is the left losing the plot completely. Um, but guys, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that the, the person that punched Mr. Jeff Good should be arrested? Do you think he should be let off? Do you think he had a right to 
self-defend himself. I'm calling it self-defense. Self-defend himself against his attacker. Um, do you think that maybe his arm got caught in the door and the try guy tried to flee? Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, obviously, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.